welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jacqueline and I make videos every week, a whole variety of things, lifestyle, beauty, adventure, all sorts of fun stuff. And I upload every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday. And today I have a 30 day skincare impression for you guys again. Um, and it's going to be on this Fresh Rose Deep Hydration Oil Infused Serum. So I just want to say two things before I dive into all the facts and, um, details on how it worked and before and after pictures and all that stuff. Um, first of all, I am not a dermatologist, an esthetician, a skincare professional in any way. I'm just somebody who loves skincare and I love to try new things. So, um, you know, do your own research before you start new products based on my recommendation, all that kind of fun stuff. Um, make sure you see your dermatologist if that's something you want to do, you know, all that fun stuff. So, that's number one. Number two, I did receive this product um, for free for reviewing purposes. However, all of my opinions are my own. Everything I'm about to say about this product um, are my own opinions. No one's paying me to say any of this stuff. I just received this product. And um, this one I'll touch on really quick too, the Rose uh, Petal Soft Lip Cream for free for from influencer for viewing purposes. Um, so I just want to get those two things out of the way really quick and we will just dive right in. So I'm just going to talk about this really quick because I didn't do a 30 day skincare test on this. Um, but I did want to just throw it in here really quick since I had it and it was another fresh product. Um, so this is just a lip balm. <laughs> However, it's a very expensive lip balm. It's $24, which I think is a little high for a lip balm. Um, it is a really nice lip balm. It does feel really nice on the lip. It's, it's nice and thick. However, I find myself wanting to apply it more than I would normally a lip balm. Um, and it is very scented. If you don't like roses, you will not like this at all. It smells very strongly of roses. Um, and so for $24, I don't know if I'd have it again. Um, it's a nice lip balm. If you're feeling fancy and you have the money and you want to spend it on something like this and you love the rose scent or something, it's a good lip balm. It works. It does its job, but for $24, I just don't think it's worth it. And I would just rather get Aqua for for my lips, which is what I normally use in a big tube that's like five bucks. So that's just my opinion, but I just wanted to share that with you guys really quick. Um, and so now we will get into the 30 day skincare test. So, um, this is the product. Again, it's the Fresh Rose Deep Hydration Oil Infused Serum. So you can kind of see there, it's got two layers, a water phase and an oil phase. Um, and this is how much I've used up in 30, 34 days, actually. Um, but the first 30 days I used this, I used it day and night. And then since I stopped the 30 days, I've only been using it in the morning and I'll explain why in a second here. But I just want to show you how much I kind of used up in 30 days. So this is $59 for 100 milliliters. Um, just to put that in perspective, my COSRX Hyaluronic Acid Serum, which is like my all-time favorite hydrating serum, I use it all the time and I love it, I'm still using it, is $22 for the same size. So it is a pricey product in my opinion. $59 for a hydrating serum, in my opinion, is very expensive. Um, but it's an interesting form of the product. So that's just something to think about. So some of the claims on this is that it has um, 24 hour hydration for dewy looking skin um, that's plump with moisture. Sephora's website says it's good for normal, dry, combo, and oily skin. I do not agree with that whatsoever, but we'll get to that in a second. Um, it helps with dryness, dullness, and uneven texture. And then again, it does have the dual phase. So the water phase here on the bottom um, has rose water and Damascus rose, and it's supposed to help soothe and soothe, calm, and hydrate the skin. And then the oil phase up here um, nourishes and softens with rose flower oil, Camillo rose hip oil, and squalene. Um, and so what you, oh, sorry, and then the plant, Plant-derived squalene, squalene protects skin and prevents moisture lock. And they suggest using it daily, night and day, to shake, shake to mix and pat on. So what you do is you can see the two phases there. You just give it a really good shake. And you can kind of feel the texture change a little bit. Gets, it feels like it's getting a little bit thicker. And then it turns into kind of this milky color. 
and then you pour it out and I just pat it into my face. Um, so how I was using it for the 30 days was I would do, I'd wash my face like normal. I would put on my active serum like normal, whatever my active is for that moment. So whether it's my vitamin C or my, um, my exfoliator or my retinol, whatever it is for that morning or daytime, I put that on first and then I put this on in replacement of my hydrating serum. I do have super dry, sensitive skin that needs a lot of hydration. So I always put on extra hyaluronic acid serum, even if my other um, uh, products I put on both previous have hyaluronic acid or some form of um, a hydrator in there, I would still put on a hyaluronic acid serum because my skin's so dry. Um, and then I go on to my moisturizer, sunscreen, whatever else I'm putting on that day. Um, so that's kind of how I put it in my skin routine. This replaced my hyaluronic acid serum. And so um, I just want to kind of give you my first impression first, and then, then I'll kind of tell you how I'm feeling now. So I think I have a clip from when I first started trying it, and I'll insert that right now. Okay, so today is day one of my 30 day skincare test for the Fresh uh, Rose Deep Hydration Oil Infused Serum. Um, so I just have a clean face. I just washed it. I took some before pictures. Um, so I'll take after pictures while my face is just clean as well. There's nothing on it. So what I'm going to do first is because my skin, I like washed it and now it's like super dry. Usually I leave it a little damp before I put on a serum. So the first thing I'm going to do is just spray a little of the Mario Badescu on my face. Just to get it damp, not wet, not soaking, just damp. And I'm going to put my vitamin C serum on first, like I would always do. So what my plan is for this is to basically use it in place of my um, hyaluronic acid serum. So usually after my active, so in the morning, that would be my vitamin C and my, that would be my um, retinol. And then every once in a while, it would be my um, exfoliation serum. Um, so after that, normally I put on a hyaluronic acid serum, which the one I love and have been using for a while is the Cosrx Hyaluronic Acid, or yeah, Acid Hydro Power Essence. So basically what I'm going to do, if I don't break things, is I'm just going to, I'm going to put that Hyaluronic Acid Serum on hold and switch to this one. This isn't a Hyaluronic Acid Serum, I don't even think it has Hyaluronic Acid in it. It has squalene, which squalene is a good hydrator as well. So as you can see, you can see the uh, water phase down here and the oil phase up here. I'm assuming that that's what that is. Um, so I did have to shake this up yesterday just to see what it was like. And you do have to shake it pretty well. And it kind of, you can like feel the difference when you're shaking it, if that makes sense. Um, so like as you're shaking it, you can like feel it getting more and more like a serum. And so I'm just going to give it a really good shake. You can kind of see... Now it's just all like one liquid. I'm just going to give it a few more shakes just in case. I really want it nice and mixed up. And this just says to um, shake while well mix oil, water and oil phase and lightly pat onto your face with palms. Use daily morning and night following with a moisturizer. So that is my plan. So it's nice and shook up. It does come with a little protective seal. So I'm just going to That's probably about enough. I'm gonna kind of rub that and then use it just like I would a hyaluronic acid serum. So right off the bat, it smells like a bouquet of roses. <laughs> um, so if you don't like roses, um, this one might not, if it's cucumber, wow. It smells a lot like cucumber, which I like both those scents, but if you don't like those scents, you probably would not like this. Um, okay, so that is what my skin feels that looks like after I put this serum on, it definitely feels hydrated. It doesn't feel sticky and it doesn't feel like oily or greasy. Um, it feels pretty good. I'm gonna put my moisturizer and stuff on top of it and then I will let you know what I'm thinking of first impressions. But um, yeah, it definitely smells like roses and cucumber and it doesn't have any scent in it. It does have a lot of like oils and like 
fruit extracts. So I'm assuming that's where all the scent is coming from. Um, so it is very scented, but yeah, my skin doesn't feel greasy or anything like I'd put an oil on, which I use oils at night anyway. So, um, yeah, I mean, it doesn't feel like oily. It definitely gives me like a really pretty, you can see that glow. Like it's art, like my skin feels glowy. Um, but we'll see what happens if it makes me break out and stuff. I'm just using my CeraVe cream on top. Um, like I always do. I mean, my skin definitely feels hydrated, which is nice. So we'll see what it does over the next 30 days to my skin. All right, so now that you see me kind of put it on my face, see how it works and stuff like that. My first impression was that I loved the texture. Um, it felt really smooth going on the skin. It felt like, um, for the most part, it absorbed in well, and it made my skin look really, really glowy without feeling greasy. It definitely felt oily, like I had put an oil on my skin, but it didn't feel greasy like I was out in the sun all day and I just had like grease and sweat all over my skin, if that makes sense. It just kind of sense. It just kind of felt like I had a light layer of oil on my skin. Um, the smell is strong. It does smell like, to me, kind of cucumbery and rosy at the same time. The cucumber smell is pretty overwhelming. Um, I have to check the box. I don't remember if it has any fragrance in it. I don't believe it does. Um, but it definitely has a strong smell. So if you do not like products that have a strong smell, maybe you don't like cucumber, maybe you don't like rose, I would stay far away from this. It does have a really strong smell, but it did absorb quickly. And then my other products went over really, really well. I was definitely able to layer my skincare products really well. My makeup didn't go, go on over it weird. Um, and I just found that it left my skin really glowy. You can see I put it on today and you can see that I still have that really nice glow from the oil underneath. Um, so I would definitely say that this is not for oily skin people if you're using it in the morning. Maybe at night, you know, you want a little bit extra hydration. People with oily skin need hydration too in their skin. Um, they need moisture and they need, you know, they can't, they need that stuff too. But maybe I wouldn't use it during the day for you guys because it does leave an oily kind of layer on your skin that you might not want to add extra oil into your daytime routine. Um, for me, however, with dry skin, I have started using it just in the morning because it wasn't enough hydration for me overnight. I would notice when I'd wake up the next morning that I kind of had dry patches on my skin and I'd have to use a lot more moisturizer at night to make sure my skin was nice and moisturized the next morning. Um, I think it works great in the morning. I don't notice that my skin gets dry patches throughout the day or anything like that. Um, but I just think it wasn't enough for me personally um, at night. And I know that squalene is a great hydrator, um, but for me, I needed, I just needed more than that. I needed something that wasn't an oil to help me get the hydration I needed. Um, so I do love it. I'm going to keep using it during the day and I'll, I'll use it up. I don't know if I'd repurchase it after I've used it up, um, just because it's so expensive and there are other great hyaluronic acid serums out there and other great hydrating serums out there that are so much cheaper than this. Um, and I don't know if I'd buy it with my own money. Um, if you love oils in your skincare routine, maybe you love Rose, maybe you love Fresh as a brand, it is a good product. I do like it. I just don't think it's necessary in most people's skincare routine to have that particular product, if that makes sense. It's a really nice product, like I said, um, but it just seems overpriced to me for what it is. Um, like I said, my favorite COSRX Hyaluronic Acid Serum is $22 for the same size and it lasts a really long time. And I personally think it does a better job of hydrating the skin than that does. Um, I also know that Vichy makes a really good Hyaluronic Acid Serum um, that's probably cheaper than that for 
like per ounce or whatever, but um, it's more expensive than the Kos RX, but does a really, really good job. Yeah, I think it did a good job. I just don't know how, if I would buy it again. I'm gonna put some before and after pictures up right now. You can see there's not that big of a difference in my skin um, in terms of texture, in terms of um, breakouts, discoloration, anything like that. Um, I was still, you know, doing the rest of my skincare and that was helping with that stuff, but I don't think it helped any of that. It definitely, like I said, helped hydrate my skin throughout the day, but just not enough overnight when my skin really needed it. So yeah, I think that's kind of my opinion on it. Like I said, I kind of, I kind of have mixed feelings on it because I know it's so expensive that it's hard for me to justify spending $59 on something that I would only use during the day and that only sort of did what I want it to do. Um, when I could buy something, like I said, like the COSRX or any other hyaluronic acid serum that's cheaper, that's gonna do for me a better job than that. So yeah, I just, I can't have mixed feelings. I think if you have the money and you really love fresh or you love roses or maybe just really love oil in your skincare routine, go for it, try it. But I just don't think it's necessary. I don't think it's life changing. I, It's a good product, but I just, I don't think I'd personally repurchase it. So there it is. That is my 30 day skincare test on the Fresh uh, Rose Deep Hydration Oil Infused Serum. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Um, if you have any questions for me, leave me a comment down below. Um, subscribe if you wanna join our little adventure family here. And yeah, I think that's it for this video. So I will see you in my next adventure. Bye.